Where are the windows? They're gone. I played this one. It bugged me at the end. Aw, oh, geez. Hopefully it doesn't bug out on me then. It was pretty good other than that. Okay. Good old... Are there any trigger warnings for this game, Linux? Were you the one that recommended this? In my dreams, I see this house. Oh, it's 3D. Not that I could think of. Hmm. Feel it calling for me. aesthetic for 3D games ever since the accident. The accident? Is that truck-coon? Are we gonna get isekai? There are windows there. When are they going gone? Whatever I do, I can't stop thinking about this house in Mariana. This game so much. Let's go. So I answered it. I'm loving the aesthetic so far. Windows are gone. Where are they going? You know, I don't know. I guess I'll just go where the bus driver goes. Hi, honey. How are you holding up? Let's wait for the ambience to kick in. Ooh. You know, taking it one day at a time. How was the funeral? I wish I could have been there for you. I didn't go. Couldn't do it. I understand. She would have understood too. You know that, right? Right. And what about your new house? It's in Mariana, right? Quite a long way from here. Yeah. I'm on my way there right now, actually. I'll text you once I get there. Alright, be careful on the road. Love you! Oh wait, sorry. Sorry. Ooh. It's my truck. Tab to pick up your phone. Oh, it's from my mom. Hey, I just arrived at the house. I'll move the boxes inside and we'll text you later. Okay. This is the map of my house. Okay, I think... Oh. Forgot what it was to bring up my phone already. It was the phone button. I think she just replied. I can't reply to my mom! You see how Cloud Strife is pretty much just Gohan from BBV Ultra? I think... I think my model is slowing down the game, so, uh... <laughs> uh, blah blah blah. If someone could refund, uh, Overtaker for the drip, please. I would appreciate it. Oh, tab for phone. Thank you. Because I think... Yeah, okay, yeah, it's so much smoother now. I'll get my drip later, don't you worry. Okay. Just arrived at the house, and move the boxes inside, and we'll text you later. Oh, I can browse it? Thanks for letting me know. Careful not to hurt your back with the boxes. Not my drip. I have no drip. Time to run out into the sunset. Whee! Goodbye, House of Mariana. Oh no, there's a gate. I can't leave. 
I guess I gotta go into the Mariana Trench. I'm going to the trenches, boys. It's over here in the forest. Oh, I gate. Nice looking house. It's got no cable. So that sucks. Can't watch uh, Adventure Time. Oh, that's a bit of a bowl. What is this? VHS tape labeled tape number one, my family. Could probably take this to a VHS player and take it. Wait, how do I grab? Oh, oh, okay. There's windows everywhere, scammed. As the tape starts playing, I see a middle-aged man handling the camera. I quickly realize that the man is in the same house that I'm in. He's all smiles as he moves away from the camera and joins his family as they can be seen playing around in the background. I wonder if they're the previous owners of this house. This not very- Oh! I forgot to bring in my PNG. Oops. There we go. I <laughs> know, oh, hold on. There we go. <laughs> His wife and children seem to be having a great time, laughing and running around. There's a moment where the wife comes up behind the husband and puts her arms around him. They both smile and briefly look at the camera. It's nice, really. I can't help but feel like there's something off, though. Like there's an underlying tension. A sense of unease that's hard to describe. Maybe it's just me, but I get this feeling that things aren't as perfect as they seem on the surface. Feels like the happiness portrayed here is a deceptive lure, tempting me to bite it and overwhelm me with its actual intentions. It's written on the man's face. It's like he's trying to hide something from his smile. The tape ends when one of the kids trips and falls to the ground, while the mother tends to the crying boy. The father's disingenuous smile finally fades away as he approaches the camera to turn it off. Once he's right in front of the frame, though, I get an eerie feeling of intrusiveness, as if he's caught me prying on his personal life. The tape ends. Strange feeling, watching these recordings of someone else's life. I can't help but wonder what happened to them. Where they are now they move away a long time ago? Are they still together? It's like I'm peeking into a world that's not mine. A world that's both familiar and foreign at the same time. Oh, the stream's buffering. Oh no. Is it buffering for anyone else? Oh, my mummy. Hello, mummy. Let me see. And what about your new house? It's in Mariana, right? Quite a long way from home. Right. Hello, son. How are you holding up? Oh, wait. I went the wrong way. Everything good? Yeah, all good. Found this weird VHS tape. I think it's from the old owners of the house. Let's go to my mommy's. Hello. Did you watch it? What's in it? I was expecting you to lecture me not to do that, but yes, I did. Saw some weird stuff. Oh, my mommy sure loves talking to me. It's fine for me? Oh, it's just me then. <laughs> oh. Hmm? That all? Should I go upstairs or? Nothing in here. The skibbity. No skibbity. Thank God. No 
jumping in the shower. Can you die in this game? Are there like save points? No, if I recall correctly. Okay, cool. Oh, what? Oh, it's got like little stuff dripping down. What was that? Anything in here? What you cooking? Ooh, these are like the little crocheted, like, little oven stuff. You can tell an old woman lives here. Or used to live here. Oh, so this is the backyard. Pretty spacious, could probably put a pool over here. Get like a little dog house. Put Twy in it. And it's locked for some reason. Huh. Jesus Christ, this kitchen looks like so many rentals I've applied for in the past. <laughs> The accurate Moggy rental experience. Oops. Can't. Oh, oops. Nothing in here. Need a fire emblem head to explain the meme to me? I might be a fire emblem head, but I might not. Let me see. Bad reply. I don't get this post. Explanation. May sound condescending. Superiority complex field. Can be debated. Boring and pedantic. Not practical and only applied to the specific situation. I don't get this post. Dumb fuck. Easy to remember. Gender neutral. Presents facts. Brief and direct. Can be used even if you also don't get it. it pretty, pretty simple. Pretty simple. I feel like you could probably understand it even without knowing the characters, but uh, the the one guy with the orange hair, uh, I wouldn't say he's like a simp, but he's like, he's like a suck-up. He's a suck-up to uh, Dimitri, the guy with the blonde hair, and then the other guy doesn't really give a shit about him. I don't have orange hair. <laughs> Wait. Huh. Oh wait, yeah. I thought there was another door. I was right. Oh, basement. It's not me, it's my basement. Oh. You guys ever see Black Phone? This house kinda looked like that basement part in Black Phone. an alright movie. Not like the best horror movie, but I enjoyed it. And my monster parents in my basement. <laughs> and these people don't leave nothing in here. Where's my crap? Where's my like lightly used crap? I got it without knowledge uh, without knowing the people, but I DK. I like to know the people. Elio? <laughs> Ooh. This is a fluorescent as heck bathroom. This is like my aunt's bathroom. I hated when I lived with my aunt because she had like really fluorescent. Close this so I can look in. My aunt had like a really fluorescent like house, like all the lights 
They're very fluorescent. And also, like, it's stinked, but, like, in a clean way. I don't know how to explain it. But, like, you could smell the clean. And it wasn't enjoyable. I hate houses like that. <laughs> Smells strong of perfume. No, it didn't smell like perfume. It smelled clean. But like in a strong way. I don't really know how to explain it. You could smell the old. Oh, maybe that was it. Maybe I could smell the old. Okay. The bed might be what I have to do. So let me just look around a bit more. Disinfectant, I can smell. That mattress looks gross. <laughs> I wonder how long this place has been abandoned. Ooh, I like this bathroom. This looks like one of my friend's bathrooms, cause uh, she had like a, a really green bathroom. And it had like a bunch of mermaid stuff in it. I liked that bathroom. Shinny bathroom. Oi! That ain't why I like it. Green alien bathroom. Oi! Very green. It ain't easy being green. Okay, guess I gotta go to bed. Oops. Why do I gotta have my bed next to the smelly fluorescent old woman bathroom it's always me it's always me that gets stuck with that not sure if i'll get used to this bed wait what they'll have to do for now there's something i didn't get oh maybe i gotta text my mommy make some tiktok slime in the green bathroom oh yeah Get the boxes in. Oh, I can move so fast. Pachow! Upstairs guest bedroom. Speed run. I can't, I can't run when I have this in my hand. But which one is the guest bathroom? Is it this one? Wait, no. He said that I'll have to get used to this. So I think that's our bed. That's our bedroom. I think this is the guest bedroom. I'll get it green. That's the right room? It looks like a guest room. Or like, slow run. <laughs> Alright. Upstairs, master bedroom. Okay. You can press- oh! Oh, that's right. Down bedroom. Uh, upstairs? Okay. So it makes a little note when you get the right thing in. Okay, so I put it in the right one. Okay, and this one goes in our room. Moving into a new house simulator. Six, seven, five. Drury Rit Lane. Is that the bet? Yes. Oh, blah, blah, blah. I hate moving into a new ho home. It's so extenuating. <laughs> moving out is a nightmare. Sometimes it's worth it, though. Okay, did I get it right? 
Beam. Okay, I did. You can press G to see grandma. Cannot confirm truth. I'm IGN.com. Hey, grandma? Grandma, are you there? Living room. Okay. Ooh, music. It's like this right here. Oh, oh, oh no, it disappeared. I pressed the wrong button. Just put that on the ground. Oh. Box disappearing. This is the true moving experience. Very Minecraft core, yeah. Downstairs office. this here for a second. Oh, okay. So that's an office. Looks like he's moving over to where I live. Upstairs guest bathroom. Oh, it's the green room. Moving is awful. I'm not moving again unless my rent goes too high or like one of my partners wants to live together or something. I gotta get out of here. I live in the most inconvenient place ever. And I hate living here. Someday. Oh wait, wrong, wrong room. There's the bedroom, and there's the bathroom. You're getting there. Yee. I missed that one time I lived with, like, these one roommates. And I'm actually kind of moving close. Well, like, if I if I have the money for it. I shouldn't say I am moving, because, like, it's not, it's not guaranteed. They might find someone else other than me, but... Upstairs, master bathroom. It's totally possible that it will happen this year. Well, not this year, but next year. Not, not 2023, but definitely 2024. Hopefully. I mean, I am... I'm almost at the halfway point. And even if I don't make it... To where I, I thought I would... I think I'll still be looking, despite everything. Oh, someone's at my door. Oops. Hello. Hello there, you must be our new neighbor. I suppose I am. Do you live nearby? Can't wait for you to reach your goal. On January 12th, is, is she wheezing? It's past Christmas, it's basically 2024. <laughs> I do, yes. A couple of kilometers that way. She points to her right hand side. My husband and I. She pauses for a few seconds. I live there. Ah, she, she died. Huh? And saying, wow, we've been waiting for you to move out since last year. <laughs> Tommy? <laughs> Welcome, welcome. Mariana is a wonderful town. Lovely people. Can you tell me about it? Well, Mariana is a quiet little town, but it's full of beauty. Oh, yes. Make sure you visit the Aral Karius Park when you have a chance. Beautiful trees there. I see. 
goes December 26th, 26th, and then we get a bunch of January 1sts in a row. <laughs> Saying, wow, we've been waiting for you to move out since last year. <laughs> Also, people here are known for their friendliness. That being said, I hope you understand that we take pride in our traditions. Please, don't embarrass us with your differences, she smiled. Good. Uh, ma'am? I think we're gonna have a problem here, cause, uh, I'm gay. So you better be gay, or we're gonna have some issues. I despise last year jokes. <laughs> Maggie, I'm not making any plans with you between December 26th and January 1st. That will be very confusing. <laughs> I look familiar. Do I know you? That's a problem, Overtaker, because I've been waiting all year to make the joke. You don't know their pronouns. True. Oh, I'm not sure. Maybe. It's what they say. Small world and all. In any case, we know each other now, don't we? Can I help you with anything, ma'am? Well, I couldn't help but notice that the house had been purchased and that the new owner would be here today, so I baked you something special as a welcome gift. Oh, what'd you make me? Oh, thank you. I think you're gonna love it. I left it on your kitchen counter. You got it inside the house? Oh, don't worry, my dear. I know this house inside and out. Uh, alright then. Now, do me a favor, my dear. And try some of that pastry I made for you, will you? I'm sure you'll love it. Okay, just please stay here this time, alright? I almost said last year. See, you're doing evil to me. <laughs> She nods and smiles. Don't be coming to my January barbecue that runs between January 1st and January 1st. <laughs> I'm sure you try some of that pastry. Okay. Should I try her pastry? Where even is my kitchen? That's our office. Where's the kitchen? Motherfucker entered our house without asking. Yeah, rude. That's the basement. It's a bathroom. Oh, here we go. Where's the pastry? Oh, there it is. Plate of grostoli made by the neighbor. I'm not sure if I should eat this, but the smell is irresistible. Yeah, let's eat it. The woman was very odd, but her crustolis were delicious. Oh ma'am, are you still here? Oh, hello. What is this? Note just says, welcome home. I, I assume it came from that lady, but where did she go? Hmm. What's a crustoli? No idea! As I unloaded the boxes into my new house, couldn't help but be reminded of the toll the trip to Mariana had taken on me. That, combined with this odd encounter with the neighbor, made me realize I was exhausted. Now let me look this up. What's a crostoli? Crostoli. Oh, it looks like kind of like a powdered sugar. Oh, is it called a crossly? Oh, it's a fritter. Lemon confectionery sweet. Pastry twisted into ribbons, deep fried and sprinkled with powdered sugar. That does sound really good. Hope it's not made of toes. Should have closed that door. That shit is my personal nightmare. <laughs> Decided it'd be wise to take a quick nap in the master bedroom. Besides, I was curious to test the comfort of my new bed. Oh, I wanna unload my shit. I better wait. 
Oh, I can't grab it. Whoops. All right then. Hope that lady doesn't come in. A little creepy. Don't even got no blankets. You ain't gonna get any rest on this bed. A little creepy, yeah, I'm here, what's up? Hmm? Ah, okay. Nice little immersion. <laughs> Eepy time. This time, I didn't dream about this house. I dreamt about death and despair. Leading too much Burger King. That's where the death and despair came from. Probably because I was finally here. My dream home! The place of horrors! No, this time I had a different dream. But take Biddy. Oh, hello. In the car? Look at wife. My wife and I were in a hurry to the hospital. She's clearly in a lot of pain. Oh, you, you pregante? Are you pregnant? I find myself in my car, quickly driving my wife to the hospital since her water is just broken. Oh, she's pregnant. Honey, are you gonna be okay? Yes, just avoid any bumpy roads, please. She gives off a, a nervous laugh. Bride wife, life good. Have you called your mother? She's pregnant. How was Babby born? Uh, no, for I forgot. Can we call her once we get there, please? Yes, of course. Apparently, Dwarf told me that people are calling Pirate Gregor from Limbus Company, uh, Pregger <laughs> now. Because <laughs> they just use, like, P and combine it with Gregor like like they do with everyone like and Claire and shit <laughs> what's your favorite unit mine's pregnant Prager. <laughs> thank you and please remember the highway is blocked now please hurry she's Prager. I will hold on tight she's pirate Gregor oh oh my god What's going on? Jessica? And Prager. Oh, we're going somewhere. What, what is this? Am I gonna get bored? Depressed. Wife? My wife! Okay, explain your reasoning. Why vor? It looked red. I thought something was gonna eat me. Where did the vor come from? I thought something was gonna eat me, okay? <laughs> God, what a horrible nightmare. That dripping noise. I heard it while I was asleep. Where is it coming from? Probably the bathroom? If I were to take any guess. Oh no. It's not this bathroom. Not the bathtub. Murder does not require vor. For every vor commits a murder. Maybe. Maybe they can hack you up. I love that steam. Alarm. Where's it coming from? Sounds nearby.
Why do we have two? Why do we have two of these? Why does that what? Is that supposed to be a urinal? Maybe the basement. Oh, maybe. Oh, yep. Oh, hey, it's open. VHS table labeled tape to the accent. I could take this to the VHS tape player and play it. Yeah, can I, can I grab it? Guess I can't grab it. Huh. Oh great, there's a leak in the ceiling. Guess that's what I get for buying an old house. Oh, Elio does not know what a bidet is? What a foolish soul. What's a bidet? A bite it? Bite it blasto? Bite it toilet? Oh, is this the squatters? Is this a squatter? Is this a squat toilet? Oh, wait, this is the thing that sprays your ass. Okay. Butthole splasher. Yeah, okay. Bidet. Ain't no way. <laughs> yeah, this is the butt splasher. Hmm, I get a weird feeling about this, though. I, I didn't know it by the name, but it's a butt splasher. Can't quite explain it. Maybe it's the constant noise. Maybe it's the water itself. I don't know. Just can't shake this odd feeling I have when thinking about it. If I were rich, I'd get one. Yeah. Probably feels good. I'll see you to it tomorrow. Just can't be bothered right now. Gotta go back to bed. Butt splasher. I, uh, never mind. Can I ground this now? Why can't I take it? I wanna watch it! I wanna watch the tape. Oh, maybe I gotta take the one that's in there out. Maybe. Okay, it's working. Save more from not using toilet paper than installing a bidet. Wait. Yeah, I can't take it. Hmm. I'll go to bed. Did I even finish with unloading my boxes? I feel like I woke up, saw the water, I was like, oh, I don't want to do that. Okay, that's still there. Did I, did I unload my boxes? I did not, you lazy, you lazy ass. Been what, two days? Still haven't unloaded it? You haven't, but now it's eat time. Dude, how do you even get a house with behavior like that? We're gonna break in here. Probably don't even have a proper, like, lock to put in here. I'll we'll have to do it for now. You still didn't get any blankets! Why didn't you unload at least your box with the blankets? Come on! Oh, grab. Grab. Why can't I grab? It's not even- Oh, it hasn't been a day. We took a short nap. Oh, okay. Woke up from my nap. Took another nap. Good day. Imagine owning a house you can get lost in. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate, Twy. Well, at least I didn't get a nightmare that time. I'll probably get a nightmare in reality, though. 
Oh, that's my mom. Yeah, that is pretty much a nightmare. Good morning, son. Your mom told me you arrived in Mariana yesterday. Okay, it has been a day. Okay. Hey, Dad. Well, you know... Nothing. I know. I'm sorry. And how's the new house? Is all you were hoping for? Not really. It's okay. I was bringing the boxes inside yesterday and got tired. I'll get back to doing that now. I bet that creepy old woman is gonna be in front of my door again. Still haven't gotten rid of this. It's been like a day. I think the birds would come and chew them up by now. Wait, I should open the door. I sound old. I'm talking about the woes of housing and bidets. <laughs> okay, upstairs storage. Cutie! Hey there, goddess ringing! Hello! How's it going? I already forgot where I was taking this. Upstairs storage. Ah, okay. Did the Ventus stuff's coming? Not yet. It says it's shipped, so should be here soon. Should be here right in time for my birthday. Okay, so this is the storage room. I'm an ass car driver. I'm Dale Earnhardt Jr. Oh, birthday! Yee! My birthday is in 10 to 11 days, depending on where you live. This box has upstairs main hallway. Okay. Just gonna put this down in the hallway? Okay. Yeah, how are you doing? Love this music. This whole area gives- or not the whole area. This whole game gives me Mad Silent Hill vibes. Like the atmosphere. This box has downstairs bathroom. Okay. Almost done. Moving in, so that's good. Oh, you live on Saturn's rings? Oh, I'm nearby. We should visit you then. Expecting the old lady to pop up any moment. You're like, would you like my <laughs> my croissant? Oh, which way was the kitchen? Guess I can just get the map. Oh. Living room. Oh, bathroom. Whoops. terrible at knowing my way around anything. If I was chased by a murderer, I would just die. Oh hey, there's another tape over here. I placed this somewhere. As I was bringing in the boxes, I couldn't help but repeatedly ask myself what I was actually doing here. I acted on impulse when I bought this house. Get the number two one that's in the basement. Oh, I can? I acted on impulse when I bought this house, but the vivid and recurrent dreams I had after the accident plagued my mind and kept haunting me until I finally gave in. It's like I didn't have a choice. She should make you some soup, and then her ex-husband's -hus arm will be in it. I hope so. Delicious and full of protein. Maybe it's the desperation to start fresh, or the need to escape the memories of that dreadful night. But here I was, in this unfamiliar place, Silent Hill, with no one but myself. For a moment, I questioned my sanity, so I took a deep breath. 
Letting the musty smell of the old house fill my lungs, it really is just like my aunt's house. With a sense of determination, I whisper to myself, I'm here now, and I have to make the most of it. Still, I felt like I needed to turn this into my new home, so I set out to unpack all the boxes and decorate the place. <gasps> we gonna decorate... Decorate the house to my liking! Wahee! Alright, but first... Let's watch this tape. As the tape starts playing, the scene before me is disorienting and extremely unsettling. The man from the previous tape stands in a place impossible to identify. This is- oh, this is number three. Okay. He appears to hover in darkness, surrounded by countless long red streaks that stretch as far as the eye can see, like veins that mysteriously emerge from above and, just as inexplicably, disappear beneath him. Oddly enough, I can feel them pulsating beyond the TV screen and onto my chest, suffocating me with the same feelings the man appears to be experiencing. In that crushing darkness, I inexplicably feel the man's despair, guilt, and regret. Yet, I cannot bring myself to stop the tape, and I keep watching it. The camera shakes and glitches, and at times, it seems to be a part of the man's body somehow. His demeanor terrifies me. His words are fragmented, barely forming coherent sentences. In the brief moments that I see his face, there's a deep ache in his eyes, as if he carries an overwhelming burden upon his shoulders. He stammers feelings of regret and calls for his family. But he's all alone in that place. I feel like his family is no longer reachable, and he blames himself for it. It's a haunting sight, and I can feel his pain seeping through the screen, echoing within my own being as if we somehow shared consciousness. In the midst of his own turmoil, his mouth opens wide, ready to unleash his agonies. But before he can do so, the tape abruptly ends. I feel broken by the intensity of what I've just witnessed. Oh, excuse me. What I just witnessed. I almost feel ashamed to look at my own reflection on the screen, and yet I still feel like this was needed somehow. Alright, let's go get that second tape. Okay, now we can grab it. Okay, cool. In you go. Tape shows that man, who I assume was the previous owner of this house, working in the basement, with the camera sitting on a counter and pointing at him. Seems to be alone in the house, although I can just about hear his children playing in the backyard. The tape is slightly damaged, but I can make out most of what's happening. For a few seconds, he stays there in silence, as if anxiously- Oh, my mommy just texted me. Hello, mommy. As if anxiously rehearsing his first words to the camera, when he finally starts speaking, I'm suddenly caught by a sense of uneasiness, and I shiver slightly. The man also seems uneasy and disturbed. His words, measured and hesitant, give off a sense that he is trying to describe a feeling that he cannot fully comprehend, but that has taken over him. He speaks of a sense of impending disaster, of a terrible event that he thinks is about to occur to his family. He's less and less coherent until he's taken by his own emotions, and accidentally drops the tool he was using to the ground. He starts crying, carefully covering his mouth so that no one notices him. He mentions the terrible event will be his fault. Watching him, I can't help but feel that his words are directed at me somehow. It's as if he knows that I'm here watching this, and is trying to communicate with me. The way he talks about the events is as if they had already happened. But then, why is he doing this? Why isn't he doing anything to prevent it from happening? And what's the point of these tapes? Alright, well, time to open these up. Got a radio, a vase, a fawn, a cushion. Another cushion, a picture from me, a vase, a walk hook, some books, DVD player, yeah, a DVD player. Let's get that. 
need some DVDs. Oh wow, you can just grab everything, huh? Full tot tea. Oh, I can't put it in here. This is an ass old DVD placement. Did I, did I tell you guys that I used to like, um, like every time, like I wouldn't take a bath unless I had a stereo in the bath when I was like a kid. Cause I would only take a bath if my mom let me listen to Radio Disney. Put the fan here, go right on my legs. Creation. That's so based. <laughs> I would like listen to Hannah Montana while I took a bath. <laughs> Turn it a little bit. This is like unpacking, but for me, that one game unpacking. But just my style. Some items have an inspect. Oh, with wife lore. Oh. Wife lore. Put it there. My wife, I love my life. All right, there we go. I remember this trip to Sao Paulo. That why you stopped taking baths? Hey! It was honestly a mess and a lot of things went wrong, but in the end, we still had fun. Afterwards, Jessica wouldn't stop making fun of me and forgetting my documents at home. <laughs> okay, just checking to make sure none of those. Can I turn the light on? Wait, was there a Hannah Montana? Was an orb, all right. I love how the music became dramatic as soon as you read my message. <laughs> I want to decorate. Whoa. It's my bidet. My bidet okay? Can it still s splash my ass? It's not time for decorating. It's always time for decorating. It's time for trauma! The TV turned itself on and I can just about make out a sound over the static. I guess it's because I saw my wife. And it made me turn into a Caligula overdose NPC. Is that someone crying? Okay, back to decorating! Lace! Beautiful. Clock? Okay, I think we're all done examining this one. Oh wait, no, we got book. We got Dante's Inferno on this one. Will not be no Shakespeare. Well, Sue. Oh, can't can't put the books over there. Put the books over here. There we go. Most of these books are mine, but I think some are Jessica's. 
is one of the lonely women sitting by her bed on the cover. In the back, there's a picture of a bench in the afternoon with a storm approaching. Oddly enough, this book doesn't have a single word written on it. Huh. There we go. Oh, nothing. Alright, well, we're done decorating in there. Laundry basket. Um, actually, Dante's Inferno is just the first part of the Divine Comedy. Not a separate book of it. Oh yeah, I forgot. My 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 mom texted me. Hey man, how are you doing? This is Franco from your auto insurance. I must inform you that your car has been declared a total loss. Nah, it's a total win. Hey, hello, alright, what now? Oh, I can't reply to my brother-in-law, I'm sorry. Got some medicine. Started taking these pills after the accident. They don't do much, but my doctor told me to keep taking them. Yes, the ones where you fight Satan and his horse cock. The phone texts are a bit weird. Left their new messages. What's that noise? I think it came from the basement. Yeah. Writer older messages. You're currently investigating the details of the accident to determine the liability of the parties involved. Let me know when you have an update. They made him a paladin for some reason. By the way, sorry for your loss, thanks. Everything's in my basement. Oh god, what's happening here? This is terrible. This leak is quickly deteriorating the ceiling. I feel like I have to do something or I'll collapse soon, but... Barely look at this thing. It's making me lightheaded and nauseous. It's frustrating, though. I know I need to take care of it, but I feel so repulsed that all I can do is ignore it. God, I hate looking at it. Oh, back to decorating! Oh, was I decorating? The bathroom? Cash bin. This is where I live. God, this place is so small. I don't know where to put half of this stuff. Okay, toothbrush holder. Right over there. Towel rack. I think this game is quite relaxing. Oh, they got put it. Ah, okay. I don't, we don't put our towel rocks in here. We put them outside. So they don't get wet. But okay. Elio. <laughs> and a bath mat. Beautiful. A little too small. Oh, a lotion flask. I get lubed up, you know? This is Jessica's. I was stupid to bring it with me. Like, she would just show up and need it. Where's the habit, I guess? A fucker just uses wet towels. <laughs> oh, and that is everything for that one. And for the kitchen! Got a blender, a toaster, a kettle, a clay filter. What? 
What is this? Oh, is it like a water dispenser? At least kind of on the ground over here where I live. A pineapple plastic jar. I think so? I've never seen a clay dispenser. Oh, I guess I gotta put it on the wall. Huh? Who's this? Can't believe it's been two weeks since the accident and since- Oh, it's only been two weeks? God, can't help but think she's still here right beside me. Maybe she is. Bootable! Yummy. Glass bowls. Hold on. I'll put these up here. I can't open these. Shut up, game. Oh, I'm mug set. Matching mugs that were given to Jessica and me as a gift for our two-year anniversary together. That's sad. some interior decorating. I did not go in that room before. I'll save that one for later. Computer. Find a computer room. Bro, oh, shut up. I'm trying to do some interior decorating. Oh, did someone text me? Shut up! I'm getting my telephone! Oh, wait, no. I should move the computer over here. Nice computer placement, bro. Nice vector, bro. I'll move this over here. Oh, dial. have a desk. 911 ain't picking up. I have a number on the phone. There's a number on the phone. I don't need to, I don't have enough credits on my cell phone to make calls. If I need to call someone, I'll have to use this phone. Yeah, the, oh, the one who texted me. Oh yeah. 983918. Shut up. Music's so spoopy. I did call 911. Maybe I should try 119. Depends on where this is. 983918. Okay. Let's move this over here. Okay, I have like one dollar for referencing Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> Hello? Hello? This is your Uber driver. I've come to pick you up. Are you okay? Oh! Honey, what was that? Oh! Thank you, Muggy! Are those screams? Yeah, I think they are screams. Thank you! Thank you, thank you. Oh, it can't be three. Oh, oh it can't be one. Oh, yeah! 
Kofi is like that. Thank you for the three dollars. Let's see, five dollars is thirty minutes. So three dollars would be like fifteen? Fifteen minutes? Would it be 15 minutes? $3 because Kofi doesn't allow $1. 18 or something? 18. And so, let's see. So, that would be. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it would be 18, right? I just want to make sure. <laughs> also, hi there, Kodoma Desu! Yeah, like 18 minutes. Okay. We add the time. I move my phone. I don't like the position it's in. It's a little inconvenient. I guess not. Oh, I can't move. Where am I going? Am I going to the basement? Oh wait. Wasn't my door here? Sonic Lego I got myself for Christmas got dispatched. Oh, let's go! Title drop. Huh. Do I go to sleep? Can't leave the house now. Cause isn't that where the entrance was at? Yeah. So I'll go to bed. But Sonic and Tails and Tails' workshop and the tornado. Ooh. I wanna go. I wanna do decorating here. Oh, no? Nothing? What am I doing? Mom? Ma? I just play snake on my Nokia. Ma, where you at, Ma? My wife. I miss my wife. TV. I'm not at all afraid of not having any fucking windows. Yeah, looks like the windows are gone. Unfortunate. How unfortunate. And I just gotta sit down. Hello? anyone there? There's a window there? Oh. Wait, where? My VTuber email right now? Kofi. Elio Lappi has a short mess up. Kofi. Elio Lappi has a short mess up. Elio Lappi has a short mess up. Ah! Hello? Oh, I just got locked in. Cool. Ah. Hmm? Thing locked.
up to this door. so much my wife have you seen how bored is when it comes to your head <laughs> first oh can't go in there oh my lights are out it was your fault what my wife Such a disappointment. Why are you saying this? If you bore your wife, she can never leave. True. Hi, my wife. I love you, my wife. You're so beautiful when you crawl up on the stairs like that. Just like the day we first met. Hello, my wife. Can I look up your, your skirt? My beloved. I'm working VHS player. Wife is a bit frantic. Okay, bye my wife. Oh, there's a tape on the desk, okay. Is this the tape we made together that one night, my wife? Okay, let's watch it together. As the tape starts playing, I find myself instantly immersed in a nightmarish, distorted reflection of the man's tortured psyche. The scene is a collection of fragmented images, disjointed sounds and memories, and deeply unsettling feelings. Somehow merged and played all at once. It's an incoherent mess. I can barely make out what I'm seeing. It frightens me to my core, and at the same time, it's sort of beautiful and makes sense to me. Oh, she just wants to watch a movie. I hope it's Toy Story 2. <laughs> the man's face and body are completely destroyed beyond recognition. If I ever knew who he was before, I can no longer, and never will again. At this moment, I feel an overwhelming surge of empathy for him, as if his pain reverberated within my own body, because it is. The tape becomes a conduit for his suffering, a mirror reflecting my own battle along with his, the fragments of his voice reaching my ears like shards of broken glass. Speak of a foreshadowed catastrophe that has shattered his world, just like mine. Toy Story 2 is a great movie. <laughs> I think I had a crush on Jesse as a kid. In the midst of the chaos, there's a moment of eerie stillness. The man's eyes met mine through the flickering and glitchy screen, a fleeting recognition that sends a chill down my spine. He's now fully aware of my presence, and his torment reaches beyond the confines of the tape. I like the scene where the old man restores Woody with all the precision. That was the most ASMR thing ever. 
That is why I watch doll, doll, like, customization videos on YouTube instead of searching up ASMR. On Jesse and not on Buzz? Jeez. Yeah, Buzz wasn't my type. I liked uh, Jesse and Lobo Peep. And the dinosaur. I definitely had gay for Jesse. <laughs> And then, in a crescendo of madness and despair, the tape abruptly cuts off. The abrupt ending leaves me gasping for breath, my heart pounding in my chest. The darkness lingers, echoing with unanswered questions and haunting whispers. It's haunting and inviting all at once. I'm left grappling with the fragments of his shattered existence, piecing together the shards of his unraveling mind. That man is gone forever now tape has become a portal into the darkest recesses of our consciousness, forcing us to confront the demons that lurk within. Yeah, Buzz is too Dorito shaped for me. Why? Where are we going to now? Upstairs. Buzz slander. Oh. I don't think I can go upstairs. I think this is cut off. He's way too cool for y'all. <laughs> He's all yours, Overtaker. up I cannot can you jump I don't know I'm pressing the space button and it's not working I know crouch is CTRL to have been painted by Jessica, but I've never seen them before. Oh, you're such a beautiful painting, my wife! I love you so much! You're so talented! Oh, I'm back here. Must have gone the wrong way. New painting. This painting seems to be blah blah blah. Okay. This way, this way, that way. Which way?
Would you like to get Pagante again? This time I won't let you die. God. I'm so bad at these segments. I think the basement was different? Oh, okay. Let's see. Don't know which is worse, the eternal cycle of torment or your wife bit. <laughs> locked. Not that basement. Oh, hey. My wife is gone. I just want to decorate my house. Hello? Anything new on the telly? Or something. Get back to the back rooms? Oh, okay. Sorry for being back, CD. It's okay. I'm a little. I'm confused what to do right now, anyways. Okay. Something over this way, right? So this basement, yeah. basement in the back rooms. Oh, okay. So this one? Wait. Oh wait, go up. 
to the other one. Feel a wee bit dumb. Okay, so this one? You want me to go up this one? Okay. Upstairs. Just there was like a flashlight or something. <laughs> distracted by something right in front of her. Honey? Did you see the latest paintings I made? It took an eternity to finish, but I think they turned out perfect. I did! I was thinking of you and our baby Laura, you know? That's why they look so wonderful. This car. Do you remember that question I used to ask you? What does God look like? <laughs> well, simple, honey. It looks like Haruhi Suzumiya, don't you know? Yes, what does God look like? Huh. It's funny that you are never religious, but you've always tried to help me understand why we can never truly see him. I really under appreciate that, you know? <laughs> Ellie. <laughs> Honey, I'm so sorry for what happened. It was all my fault. I really miss you. But I see him now. She smiles. I see him and he's beautiful. Do you see him too? Yes. He's a woman. Yes, I see him too. Wonderful, isn't it? So powerful and astounding and devastating. I feel like tearing my face off, but in the most wonderful way. Don't know if I can let you go. Oh, don't worry about me anymore. We have our baby to take care of for now, silly. Did you hear that? She's crying, the poor thing. I should go check on our little girl. She's probably hungry. Oh, okay. I'll go check on the baby. Go into the basement. Oh, oops. Sorry. Sorry, honey. I just... Inside a bag of milk, inside a bag of milk, inside a bag of milk. Bye 
have you been? Don't you miss us? It's so lonely and empty here. Laura doesn't stop crying for her dad. Honey, I think it's time I let you go. No, oh, no. You know what? I have a better idea. Why don't you join us? Oh, Laura misses you so much. And she's so hungry all the time. I really want to satiate her hunger. I can't see her suffering like this. I can't join you. I'm so sorry. I want to decorate my house. Oh, I see. Oh, she's so hungry. We'll get her. I'll go ahead and feed her now. Pity you can't join us. She really needs her daddy. Sorry. Okay. Do I need to join my family? Let family go or join my family? Hmm. Should I join my family? Or should I let my family go? I feel like it's probably better for my mental stability to let my family go. So I think I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, let them go. Free them. That's up to you. I doubt you'll want to do the other ending, yeah. <laughs> Back to normal. The accident was your fault, but let them go. The wake seems to have stopped. I've gotten over my trauma! Now I can decorate my house. The window! The windows are here. Leave the house. Uh-oh. I wanted to decorate the house. Damn it. Ever since the accident. Hey, I remembered where I put everything. Guilt has haunted me. You can never decorate the house. Bad end. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even decorate my bedroom. So I built a labyrinth. That was a good game. Really good game. You know how I am. I make jokes while I play through the game, but this is really good. Oh, I got the good ending. Oh, I found five secrets. <laughs> I'm a pro gamer. Fucker can't make a labyrinth. Can make a labyrinth, but not decorate. SMH. <laughs> we gaming. A oh, scary cube. Okay, I'll follow you, Scary Cube. Yeah, that was a cool game. Music on this game is so immersive. Yeah. So good. Really good audio design. And the graphics are really, really good, too. Took me back to the good old days of PS2 horror. I like that. I like the story, too. Showing, like, the process of this guy, like, trying to move on. But, like, the trauma and the grief still like getting him and i like the whole unpacking part which lets you kind of see i like how um you have to clear an entire box to get like that one last item that that you still kept from your relationship with her before she passed away it's really nice the what the fuck was the neighbor just some creepy old lady 
people didn't know why I wanted a lost Elio emote. <laughs> yeah, the whole tapes too. They're like a reflection of the MC. Yeah. It's like showing like videos of like the family and good stuff. What is this? Is this like just the title screen or did I trigger some movie or something? It's really good. Good job, Scary Cube. Really good game. 